I get up today to record the podcast, and I'm already here to talk to you about uh, this meteorite economics thing, which I'll get to in the point in detail, but I want to uh, lay in a little bit of a backdrop to it. But as I go to record this, I see I'm now running Ubuntu 18 because I'm a computer geek and I love, I'm a Linux guy. And I wish, I wish that I could develop stuff for Apple, but I just haven't gotten around to doing the, the iPad iOS thing. I'm just busy learning Android, but eventually I will be developing apps for Apple. Eventually I will. It's just where I am, you see. Well, I see Apple Desktop in 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 all in all fairness, Apple runs some pretty good machines. They've always been good at their software, but when my buddies go to China, their Apple computers uninstall the software that they installed when they were outside of China. They they install like, you know, Mozilla Firefox or, you know, Mozilla Thunderbird or something. They go to China, they turn their computer on, the MacBook Air says, oh, I'm in China, and uninstalls Thunderbird. So, I, well, that's why, that's one of the reasons I think Apple is doing so well in China. I mean, they're mostly iPhones in China because China doesn't like, you know, Google and Google does Android. So, you know, and, you know, that's because Android won't play by China's censorship rules and China's censorship is a thing now. Uh, well, see, you know, I've been over here in Asia for you know, pushing 10 years now, and I've been watching this stuff and telling people this stuff, and they're like, oh, what are you talking about? And now it's big news, and they're like, oh, Jesse was right again. All right. Well, here I am using Ubuntu 18, because it comes out every, the long-term support comes out every two years. We've got a big new version that we're dealing with, and my audacity, re- re- the recorder, the user interface is all changed and all out of whack. And I, I like the thing, guys, if you, you know, do a good job, do a shout out at you Audacity guys. It's, you know, for those of you in Read Rapids, Audacity is the audio recorder that I record stuff on. A lot of people record podcasts on Audacity. But the GTK theme isn't working in it. All right, enough geekery. Uh, no, it's fun, I guess, to hear geeks talk about geekery stuff. So you can call me an official geek. Blank paper, used as a prop, because it sounds better like I'm reading from something when we're really in this digital age where we don't. And actually, I just spit it off the top of my head anyway. But, see, if I have the sound of a paper, then you get the feeling like I've got my thoughts organized. As much, well, half as much as I really do. Because I don't need a paper to look at. But, we sort of think that we do. This economics thing... Um, Black Panther is putting forth this idea. You know, the movie. Okay. The problem I have with the Black Panther movie, there's a movie, is this presumption. There's this underlying presumption through the whole movie that the only reason this this little, small, unknown country in Africa has such superior tech and prosperity is because a meteor, well, it's, it's an asteroid, and then it enters atmosphere and becomes a meteor, and then it lands and becomes a meteorite. This rock fell from the sky with this special, you know, metal that you don't get anywhere else. And that metal is almost supernatural. And because of this, this little country excelled in technology because they had another different, unique metal to study. Well, I don't know. They should have played off it. Like that was the asteroid that killed the dinosaurs or something. I mean, it's this huge, enormous rock in the ground with no crater. There's a lot wrong with with the science of how this thing works. But all that aside... Because this little tiny country had this metal to study, that they, that, you know, that's why their technology advanced, and that's why they're the only super tech black people in the world, Africans, whatever, you know, in America there is or isn't, the people, the tribes, just black people around the world, 
whatever their history. They're all broke. They're all poor because only this little African country had this rock fall from the sky and all their technology, their science, their education, they're, they're brilliant. They work hard. They study. But that was only possible because of the big rock that fell from outer space and didn't make a crater and landed deep in the earth. Now, um, well, okay, crater thing aside, all right, let, let's say that they landed in the earth and then Noah had his flood, um, and then the earth came back and washed around it. So let's look past all that. Um, you can't get economics working without having good choices. If you have enormous amounts of money, like it's like winning the lottery. That's what this is really compared to. They got lucky. They're the ones where the rock happened to fall in their backyard before they live there or not. However, the story goes, it's like winning the lottery and lottery tickets. The lottery ticket horror stories prove this myth the, the underlying myth of the Black Panther plot, the mo- Black Panther the movie plot, they prove it wrong. Because when someone wins a lottery ticket, you, you, a, a poor person, because rich people don't gamble on lottery tickets, not generally. It's usually someone that doesn't have a lot of money, which is another reason lottery is extortion. It's playing on the superstitions of the poor. The same, re- the argument, lottery, it just exploits the poor. That's the identical argument for why the the Black Panther movie underlying theme myth of this rock is completely false. It's the same set of presumptions. You take someone that doesn't know how to make those good choices, who isn't already studying science with what nature they have around them already, who isn't already studying the rocks or whatever they have around them already, someone who's not already studying and understanding that stuff, you take them and you throw a big giant rock at them that's special, or you throw a bunch of lottery winning ticket money at them, they're, they're going to hurt themselves more. The the elitists, the evil, wicked, bad guys in the world. And there are. There are evil people with money in the world. Hello. Let's, uh, Warren Buffett in his financial advice that we need to invest in China. What the heck? I, I, Warren Buffett, there's an article, some guy from the Taipei Times. Well, it's reported in the Taipei Times. China's out of control. So is Warren Buffett. And, And invest in China now? Are you kidding what is he, the chairman of the Federal Reserve, giving people advice to try to calm and appease the markets? What in the world? I mean, there, there's companies in Taiwan that invested in China, and now they're biting their nails wondering what they're going to do. They should have invested in Vietnam, where all the manufacturing is shifting to because it's becoming cheaper and because Vietnam isn't going to do cloak and dagger. Like, Anyhow, you've got evil people in the world. But they didn't get their money because of winning lottery tickets. They did stuff, smart stuff, maybe evil stuff, but smart stuff. And there are good rich people. You, you know in your life people that have money because they're good people. And that, the, 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 the factor of choices. Well, I, you know, I'm going to get to this. What was America? You know, there's this idea, zero sum game. What rock landed in America to make America rich? You know what? <clears throat> I'll explain that in the point. So pay attention. There is a superstitious lie floating in the philosophies of mankind, perpetuated by closet elitists who mask the secrets of their wealth through well-funded ignorance among the masses. The superstition is that a rock must fall from the sky in order for anyone to become wealthy. Any other wealth was stolen in a zero-sum game. Actually, Wealth comes from a synergistic game. When we live by wise choices, guided by wisdom from beyond our own lives, the pilgrims landed a rock upon the north, the Bible from heaven, and prosperity is freely available to all who obey that book. And that's the point. I'm Jesse Steele, jessesteele.com.